What's up everybody, welcome to the channel. Before we dive into the video today, I wanna to take a quick second to say a big thank you to each and every one of you for all the support and help the channel grow. Um, we just reached over a thousand subscribers and I'm so excited and blessed that the channel is doing well and uh, we're able to continue to, uh, to grow. Uh, but this wouldn't happen without you. So I wanted to do a 1K giveaway, um, 1K subscriber giveaway. But uh, I don't know how, this is all new to me, so please bear with me uh, and be patient until I figure things out. And so maybe in future videos, I'll kind of let you guys where we're at. And uh, thanks for being a part of this milestone. It means so much to me. And uh, I hope we continue to grow and make great content and better content uh, down the road. Um, and if you are a YouTuber or if you know how to do giveaways, if you've done them before, um, any help, any hints would be greatly appreciated. So maybe leave them in the comments below or you can uh, uh, DM me on my Instagram at Detail Projects. Uh, so having said that, again, thank you so much for all the support and uh, let's dive into the video. Today, I wanted to do a quick video review about the Flexi Hose and um, tell you why I bought it, why I'm doing a review about this uh, and uh, share my thoughts on it. So let's start with the unboxing and uh, out the box, um, you, what you're gonna get is your um, it's a pretty low quality um, hose nozzle uh, with eight settings. And uh, you're gonna get your instruction manuals and then you have extra washers. And then lastly but not least, you have your garden hose, the 50 foot, um, in this case, flexi hose. I got this in color black and it comes with the brass fittings, uh, really nice quality with a shutoff valve as well. Um, now this comes in different colors. You can get it in blue, you can get it in green, they have gray, they have different kind of uh, colors and also comes in different sizes. They come in 25, 50, 75 and 100. In this case, I just went with a plain black and I went with a 50 foot hose. And uh, this is what it looks like. It's so tiny and it's very light. And it's so it's really easy to uh, tuck away and uh, you know, install. So. The reason why I went ahead and purchased this, it was almost of an in, impulse buy because a lot of times my vehicles, as you know, I, I wash them in my garage and then I have uh, my pressure washer set up, which is great. It's very convenient. However, most times, especially in summer times, I, it's overkill to use the, the pressure washer. So I get away with just doing uh, using my garden hose and um, just doing a rinseless wash or whatever. But garden hose works awesome on if my vehicles are not dirty. Uh, now, I do have a very good 50 foot garden hose. It's a Continental and uh, it's hot and cold. And I purchased this a few years back and it's still holding on amazingly. It's a heavy duty rubber. I mean, they're one of the best garden hoses you can buy out there. And I got that for $65, I believe at the time. Um, and I use that all the time and I love it. However, the only problem that I have with it, and this is why I bought this, is that it, because it's heavy duty and it's kind of like a pain to put away and, and uh, you know, set up, um, it was, I didn't want to like leave it all over the garage because I like my garage to be tidy. Um, it was a pain to put away and, and you know, set up. So every time I want to use a garden hose, I had to like get it out and you know, all that good stuff. So I was like, okay, I don't want to do that all the time. And I don't also want to leave my garage messy. I kind of like to put things away. So my other option was to go get a garden hose reel, but then I'm looking at 400 plus dollars Canadian and I didn't want to spend that much money on a garden hose. So I was on Amazon and I saw the flexi hose and I, I thought that this would probably be a good idea because it's so tiny yet 50 feet is perfect for what I needed. And then it's easy for me to tuck away when I'm done and easy for me to install or like set up when I need to. And so I picked it up and uh, I have it used now for about a month and I have no leaks or no nothing. It's holding up great. So far, it's awesome. Now, my only concern when I bought this hose was the, I was afraid I was gonna lose pressure or like GPM and pressure. Uh, so what I did is I put it to the test and I did a comparison side by side with my Continental and I let them both run on the shower setting for one minute. And it checked out that uh, the Continental and the Flexi Hose both did the exact same GPM for the, the one minute. 
And then I also check the pressure on a couple different settings, on a shower setting and then the center and the cone. And both of them had great pressure. So that checked out great and I didn't have any problems there. So I didn't lose anything, which is good to see. Now, um, let me go over a couple of things, uh, preventative maintenance uh, things. So you just so if you have this hose, you don't wreck it. Um, the one thing um, that the manufacturer recommends is that when you hook it up to your uh, faucet, they want you to gradually uh, turn your water on. Uh, they don't want you to just go full blast because what happens is because this is a latex material in here, um, there is a possibility that it could expand too quick and then it could probably burst and then you might have, uh, you know, your garden hose will uh, start leaking. So they, they recommend just gradually turning the water on. Now, when you see the water's turned on, you're gonna see this hose expands. It expands about three times its size and then when you're not using the hose or when you're done with it, they recommend to shut the water off and let the water out. So don't leave any water in your hose. If you're done for the day or whatever you're doing, just uh, drain it, shut the water off, and then you're going to see it's going to be shrinking. Uh, and so another thing too, because this is a latex material, try not to run over it with things. Uh, try to keep it away when you're done using it. Um, now, I know that they do have their own little um, hanger. You can buy a little hanger on Amazon. Uh, Flexi Hose sells it. It's like 14 bucks, but you can tuck it away. You don't really need that, but if you want it, it's there for you to buy. The one thing I upgraded right away when I got the hose was I did a quick connect. I did a plug here, and then I just did a uh, connect here because I'm not going to be using uh, the uh, nozzle that it came with because it's I don't like the, the handle. I don't like squeezing this and plus it's really cheap flimsy um, what I do and I do recommend is I went ahead and start using my dram because I do like this uh, handle better because you can just go on and off or you know have it in the middle and you don't have to sit there and press it so it's really easy on your hands and it does come again with the eight uh, settings just like the one that comes with uh, flexi hose and I just have a plug here so it connects really nice um, also another uh, nozzle that I have is this Chemical Guys um, fire nozzle and uh, this works awesome too uh, if that's something you're interested in. I had this for years and it's pretty solid unit so uh, that's my top two um, garden hose nozzles that I do recommend if um, you don't want to be using this cheap one. If you're going to be using the nozzle that comes with the flexi hose I'm going to show you here how each setting sprays out just so you have an idea. One downside is that you cannot run hot water with this hose. You can only run cold water. So 
uh, versus like my Continental, I can run hot or cold whenever I want to. But uh, yeah, that's one downfall. I kind of wish you can get this with uh, the option to run hot water. Okay, so that being said, uh, I want to say that I do recommend this. So far, I haven't had any issues. Uh, it is pretty practical. It's compact, uh, especially if you're going to be washing indoors. This is great because, you know, like I mentioned, pressure washers can be overkill and they can be messy sometimes indoors. And um, this is compact. I like how I can tuck it away. And so far, I had no leaks, no issues. If I do experience anything, I will let you guys know. But so far, I can say that I recommend it and it's a great choice and it's, it's a reasonably priced too. Try to catch it on a sale if you can, if you don't want to pay the whole $33 or whatever the, the price will be on Amazon. And uh, by the way, I will post all the uh, links in the description below for you guys to check it out. I also put the Continental and some different options here for you guys to, to, to explore. And yeah, so... Having said that, uh, thanks for watching. I hope this video helped you guys out. And as always, we'll catch you on the next one. Talk to you later.